Hello everybody, uh, welcome to a Zumba Productions tutorial. Uh, today I will be teaching you how to make a simple, stylized, low-poly tree for use in games, specifically in Unity. Uh, so, uh, the one thing that we will need is a texture. It is a just a black and white gradient texture, so... I'm just going to get the interwebs, and here is one. Gradient stock 01. That will do fine. Um, and I'm just going to. I, I made a blank project in Unity. Just put this into your Unity project. New projects. Tutorial assets. Textures. Gradient. Okay. Uh, we have the gradient texture. Next thing is to make the tree. So we don't need a light or a camera because we're making a model for the game, so just delete those. Next, create a circle, a mesh circle. And before you do anything, set the number of vertices to 16. Now tab into edit mode, uh, select checker deselect. And now you can see we have selected every other vertex on this circle. So now what you want to do is move it down not that much. Scale it out. Not that much. Now select the whole circle with Alt, Alt, right click, or loop select. Uh, I'm just going to go into side view. Here. Extrude it upwards. Make sure you got it straight up. Then Alt M, merge at center. And now you can see if you move this down too far or up too far, you get these ridges. You don't want the ridges. You want to move it until it looks about flat. Like you don't have ridges. Um, you set the shading to smooth, you can see a little boner. That looks pretty smooth. I'm gonna call it good. Alright, uh, you may notice on mine, it may happen on yours also, that all the normals are facing the wrong way. They're facing inwards. It looks all weird and blue. So you can select all in edit mode and control N, reset the normals. Or recalculate the normals. Uh, yeah, that is great. We have one segment of our tree. Now shift A, add an empty plane axis, and just leave that at the origin. Um, if you got your cursor off, make sure that is at the origin, it's pretty important. Now go back to the tree segment, and add an array modifier. Uh, it's way over there, we don't want that. And just go ahead and turn off relative offset, and check object offset, and select R empty. Uh, you'll notice, even though we have the count at 2, uh, we do not see any more. That is because the empty is at the same position as the as the tree. So if we move the empty up, you can see there is our array in action. Uh, so what we want to do, when you use object offset, you can you can use uh, rotation transforms and scale transforms as well. So I'm going to rotate uh, and hold down oops, RZ, hold down control. I don't know the number of degrees we want, but is that right? That doesn't look right. RZ, 22 and a half. Yeah, it's 22 and a half. Uh, so rotate around the z-axis 22 and a half degrees. And then, since if we just kept doing our array here, this is not really looking like a tree. It's looking like a very confused tree. We are going to also scale this down a little bit. And just however much you want. And I'm scaling down the empty right now. Alright, that looks about good. Uh, and this is a pretty dense tree if you want it even more low poly, you can move it up a little bit more and move the count down like that. That's a great low poly tree. Uh, you can also do, if you want a tall tree, you can do more of that. I mean, play with this. It depends on what kind of tree you want. You don't want this kind of tree, probably, but um, I'm going to go about here. And that is going to be my tree. Alright. Now, uh, you actually can't move it up yet, although we do want to make a trunk soon. But before we apply the array modifier, we want to uh, do some UV unwrapping for this. So I'm just going to pro project from view bounds, split our view, UV image editor. Uh, and so we're just going to make it so the top of this part is darker, so it's a little bit of fake ambient occlusion, because the top of this, the top of this, uh, this segment will be underneath this, which means it should be darker, it should be shaded a little bit darker. Um, and obviously this doesn't apply to the top ones, so we'll fix that after we apply the array modifier. But for now, I'm just going to scale Y. 
And really, this depends on how much ambient occlusion you want on this, because uh, it creates really cool shading, but you also don't want too much, because there wouldn't be too much until you're like really far up there. Um, so we can, we can also, you can fix this after you have looked at it also. We're not applying the texture yet, because it's in a faraway folder, so I'm not going to bother. Uh, but I'm just going to leave it there. All right, apply the array modifier. Take this, this top one. Uh, select one of the vertices and Control L to select the linked vertices. Scale it down. Scale the top of the tree down and put it down towards the bottom because we know that part is white and it should not have ambient occlusion on it. Uh, all right. So next, since uh, most game engines do uh, back face culling, which means we will not have these the backs of these faces rendered. Uh, which would mean if we ever get down below the tree like this, these would be invisible. In fact, under shading, you can actually turn on backface culling. You can see it looks like that, which is no good. So we're going to leave that on so we can look at it. Uh, and you want to go add modifier, and let's see, uh, solidify. There it is. All right, so you want to add the solidify modifier. And since we're adding that modifier, I'm going to actually give it a little bit of thickness anyway because these are supposed to be like the pine needles, the branches on our tree. Uh, yeah, so, and the shading is really weird. It's because we have smooth shading and these edges aren't sharp, uh, which we can add. Uh, let's see, yeah, apply that, add a edge split modifier, and you can see that gives us a much better result. But it does uh, sharpen all these inner edges, so if you turn up the edge angle higher, it shouldn't mess those up. Uh, that looks fantastic. And you can see, see we still have all of our UV coordinates for those. And we have both outside and inside. I just have to save that, yeah. I sometimes save just as a reflex after I do stuff, which is good, I suppose. Uh, we don't have to apply the edge split, because if we ever want to edit it more, that will be a really big pain in the butt. We'd have to go and, uh, and remove all the double vertices, which I'm not going to bother to do. When you import things into Unity, it automatically applies modifiers. Okay, so depending on where you want the branches to start on your tree, move this up or down. So I'm gonna do right here because I want my branches to start pretty low. And just go and add another circle. And for this, eight vertices, because this is not gonna be very wide. Tab into edit mode, I'm in front orthographic view now. Uh, scale it down, extrude it up, Oops. Oh, all the normals are inwards, that's why it looks weird. Okay, scale it down, actually I'm going to add a face on it, extrude it up, scale it down more, and you just want your trunk going all the way up here. Hold M, merge at center. So now you have a trunk going all the way up, if you ever look at it at this kind of angle you still see the trunk, which is good, because the trunk goes all the way up. All right, uh, now move this up a little bit. We're going to extrude it downwards, scale it out a little bit. Now do check or deselect again and scale these ones in a little bit. Or actually not that much, I guess. I'm making roots. Scale it down, and this is just in case this we want this tree to be on a hill at all. If the angle of the hill goes like this, right? If it ended right here, um, that would not be good. So you can see. Um, stories, please pencil. Um, this is much better because the hill could be like. Like flat ground like this, it's great, we don't have to worry about it, but if the hill is like that, it's fine, even if it's like that. Um, and assuming it goes through the orange and it could get pretty steep before we start seeing the bottom of it, which is good, is what we want. And smooth shading. And I'm actually just going to delete this face at the bottom because this gives us a split edge already, so we get less of that weird shading. This looks a bit wide, scale it in. I mean, have your tree look however you want your tree to look. It's your tree. Uh, I actually think this is a bit too high. Okay, that looks fine. 
And then last thing we're going to do is merge these together. Control J, join, oops. Should actually do it the other way because we want to keep that edge split modifier. You can see it split the edges of this. Set the edge angle up a little bit more. Um, I'll let it split these, that's fine. I don't mind. Now, uh, notice that the origin of the object is right there. That's not good. So if you do your shift, control, alt, c, set origin, origin to 3D cursor. All right. Last thing to do is add materials. So we're going to call this pine leaves. I know they're probably needles, but just going to call them leaves. And pine trunk. Now go to edit mode, select one of the vertices on the trunk, control L, and assign the trunk material. Since we did the leaf, leaf material first, it will automatically be assigned to all of the, the whole mesh but then we go in and tell it to assign the trunk material to the trunk. So now we're going to save it. Go into my folder. Tutorial, assets, and create a folder models. I like to do this. You can organize it however you want. We call it tree. Now, in Unity, or whatever game engine you want, this isn't really Unity specific at all, Create a, I'm going to create a plane just so we have a surface for it to be on. Go into models, there's our tree. Look, it's really big. That's okay. You can scale it. Move the light out so we don't have that annoying icon. So let's create some materials. So for the albedo, for the pine leaves. Oh, uh, here's one thing. Lots of people make their plant colors really like green, like you look on this little slider and you put it in the middle of the green colors. That's not good. You want it to be way more towards the yellow than it is towards the blue. Because you don't want turquoise leaves. Leaves are not turquoise. They're like greenish, orangey, yellow. Um, so especially for pine trees, you want it pretty towards the yellow. You can see right there, mine is almost in the yellow. And then I'm going to make it kind of dark. And I'm just going to bring the smoothness down, because the pine needles are not, or I guess they are kind of smooth, but I'm not going to make them smooth. Anyway, uh, under the ambient occlusion map, we're going to choose our gradient. And that doesn't look very good. I'll also do it under the albedo map, that might look better. And this doesn't look very good at all. This is a problem that I ran into making another tree. Um, it helps a lot if you go in and you set the contrast way up. You just want like lots of white at the bottom and lots of black at the top to work with. It's good. Maybe not that way up. Not pretty way up. Just make sure you have a big margin of black and a big margin of white, especially the margin of white. Save it. That looks much better already. And I'm just going to go in and select all these, control L, scale Y, select all, scale Y, move it down a little bit. We just want some black at the top and we want some white at the bottom. Back in Unity, that looks much better. And it's pretty subtle, but if we do, if we like turn off shadows, I bet it will be more visible. Go in those shadows. And that looks much better. So there's our like cartoon shaded pine tree. Oops, I forgot to make a trunk. Trunk material. Brown. Rough. And there it is. A cartoon pine tree. Do whatever we like with. So, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I hope you learned something. I hope you have a very cute uh, pine tree.